What's up guys, it's Kelly. So for this week's video, I'm going to do another simple, simplified 3D tutorial. I don't want to start doing these like back to back, but I might want some more materials to come in for other projects. So that's why I'm doing it back to back instead of a month to month thing right now. But anyways, this week's video is going to be simplified 3D sequential printing. Printing an object in the print and then going back and doing another object like small or whatever but anyway here is the video okay so first thing we'll do is change the process to the mono the new matter or that's the one that can fit the build so we'll go here import find the three Objects that I've already sliced. I went ahead and sliced these in Mesh Mixer. So, because uh, this software can't slice objects. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the scale of it. Scale it down to 79%. Then the next step I'm going to do is position the objects in the order that want to be printed Try to get as close as I can. Then get the last piece and do the same thing with that. You can obviously go back in and fine tune it for a better fit. I'm just gonna go with this for right now. So the next step is to make a process for each of the pieces. So click on the process and it's a button that says select models. I'm going to select number two, hit OK. That's number two. Now I'll make a process for boat one, for boat next. So we're going to select module, boat. Now this one, no raft and no support. And then the next one will make a process for its boat one. Select module. And again, no raft, no support. And then prepare to print. I'm going to put them all at the same time, so I select all. I want to do it object by object, so I'll finish object first. And then we can preview the print. So right here we're going to have to switch up the filament because I don't have a multi materials unit or palette to do it for, so I have to do it manually. And so next, so the next step would be to export to decode. I've already done that, so I've, and I've already started 
So I'll show you what I've got done so far and then I'll try to show you when I switch the film out. So right now it's been printing for about probably an hour, hour and a half and it's still in the red stage, the bottom part of the boat. For another hour or so I'll switch it to the wet filament. Okay, so here's the progress of the boat print after about two to two and a half hours I guess. Still not time for me to change the filament over to wet yet. Okay, so here's how it turned out. It didn't finish all the way and I kind of rushed it at the end. So this one didn't turn out that good. But now I'm going to try to reprint a different object. It's the same concept. But this will be like two different objects. It'll be easier to see what sequential printing is. So here it is printing the first piece off. Okay, so you can see it started on this one, and now it's working on this one. That's going to switch back over here in a few minutes. Okay, so that's the third time I've tried doing the print on the Mod T. So I think it's an update issue since the features are relatively new. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like this video first, please click subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.